We have two functions, g of x and the g inverse. We're supposed to find the y coordinate of b, the y intercept of g of x. We are given the equation g of x being equals to 2x plus 6. If you want to find the y intercept, you let x be equals to 0. So we're going to have g of 0 being equals to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 6. So y is going to be equals to 6. 2 multiplied by 0 is just 0. So that is the y coordinate of b, 5.1. Let's take a look at 5.2. Determine g inverse in the form g inverse is equals to mx plus n. We know that g of x is equals to 2x plus 6. In order to find the inverse, we need to swap x and y and solve for y. So in place of y, we're going to put x. And in place of x, we're going to put y plus 6. So 2y is equals to x minus 6. We just need to divide both sides by 2. So we're going to get y being equals to 1 divided by 2x minus 3. This is the equation of g inverse. Now we can conclude and say that g inverse of x is equals to a half x minus 3. Let's move to 5.3. In 5.3, we're supposed to find the coordinates of a. Let's go ahead and take a look at a. a is where g of x and g inverse touch. So in order to find the coordinates of a, we have to equate the two equations. If we do that, we're going to have 2x plus 6 being equals to a half x minus 3. Let me take a half x to the left hand side. If I do that, I'm going to get 3 divided by 2x being equals to minus 9. I'm taking plus 6 to the left hand side. I'm going to get minus 3 minus 6, which is minus 9. Now what I have to do is to divide both sides by 3 divided by 2. If I do that, I get x is equals to minus 6. So that is the x value at a. Now I just have to substitute x is equals to 6 into g of x or g inverse. If I substitute it into g of x, I'm going to get 2 multiplied by minus 6 plus 6. So 2 multiplied by minus 6, that is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6. So the coordinates of a is minus 6 and minus 6. Uh, that is 5.3. Quite easy to compute. Let's take a look at 5.4. In 5.4, we're looking for the length of AB. We have the coordinates of A and we have the coordinates of B. So finding the length of AB should be pretty much straightforward. We're going to have AB being a costume. We are going to use the distance formula. That is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This will be equals to. So the coordinates of B, we have 0 and 6. The coordinates of A, we have minus 6 and minus 6. If we take B as our second point, we're going to have 0 minus minus 6. So that is just 0 plus 6 squared plus y2. Y2, the y value of b is 6. So that will be 6 minus minus 6. So that is 6 plus 6 squared. So this will be 6 squared, 36, and then 12 squared, 144. 144 plus 36, 180. So ab is equal to square root of 180. Obviously, you can further simplify that and get 6 square root of 5. A, B. Let's do 5.5, the interesting question, really. So in 5.5, we're supposed to calculate the area of triangle A, B, C. So let's just go ahead and highlight that triangle. Uh, there's quite a couple of ways we can use to find the area of triangle A, B, C. Let's just try this first. You can find the area of triangle D, B, C. Let me highlight it. We can find the area of this triangle. How can we possibly do that? We have the base DC. 
and we have the height OB. We have the length of DC and we have the length of OB. And we can also find the area of triangle DAC, this area right here. We have the base DC again, but now we have the side of which we know the length, right? So we can go ahead and say that the area of triangle ABC is equal to the area of triangle BDC plus the area of triangle DCA. This is going to be equals to a half base. The base of triangle BCD is DC. What is the length of DC? The X coordinate of C is 6 and the X coordinate of D is minus 3. So from D to C is 9 units. So we're going to have that there. And then the height from O to B is 6 units. The Y coordinate of O is 0 and the Y coordinate of B is 6. So we're going to have 9 multiplied by 6 plus the area of triangle DCA. The base is DC. We know that DC is 9 units. And then now let's talk about this height. The Y coordinate A is minus 6 and the Y coordinate at the X axis it is 0. So that distance should also be equal to 6. This is equal to 54 units squared.